So I was on YouTube and I found this video called... Can five animators make an animation without communicating? So then I watched that video and then they said this. <laughs> I'm gonna go take my time to get these R6 rigs to work. Because like I'm used to R7 rigs and switching them to R6 is going to take time as I don't have their original. And I had no clue what that meant, so I tried to figure out what it did and how I could make an R7 rig. So I tried it for a while, but then I actually figured out how to make one. I'll show you guys how to make one. So. Anyways, let me show you how to make uh uh let me show you how to make the R7 rig. So yeah, that's it. So the first thing I want to do is get a rig. I'm just using Uberguide rig. This is Roblox rig, because I don't know why. Um, so, uh, you want to open the rig, and you see torso, you want to clone it, and you want to select the above torso, the this one right here, and you just want to rename it to lower torso, and as you can see, it kind of looks like a mess. What you want to do, go to scale, and scale it down. So, get it down like that, and then we can scale it out like this, like that, just so it's easier to select from animating. And yes, I do know it looks ugly. You are able to change the material, it's gonna make it smooth plastic. And then we see it's a lot more smooth, and you're able to change the color if you want. But I want to keep it like this. And I'll tell you how to make sure this doesn't show when you're recording your animation. So, what we're gonna do is you're gonna delete. You wanna open the lower torso and you wanna select everything inside it and delete everything inside it. Then you wanna open the torso and you want to click left hip, right hip, and select all the welds that are there. And you just wanna delete them. And you can delete the welds if there's any. And as you can see, your rig should look like this. Now, this is where we're going to need to use rig edit. Just before, you want to open the humanoid root part and delete the root joint. And then you want to go to plugins and find uh, find rig edit. And you want to select the rig. And then it should open like this. So you want to select the humanoid root part from the lower torso. You want to click create joints. And you'll select lower torso, torso, right leg, left leg, eight joints. And then, as you can see, it should look like this. What you want to do is make sure the step is set to 0 0.25, like this. And then you want to select this bone. Make sure you're in move. If you're in rotate, you can press R to just the uh, move and rotation. And you just want to move this up. And then you just want to move it. Okay, so um, you just want to move it up. Then move it just to like in the corners, so about like there. You want to do the same with the other one. And just it. So it should look like this. And just before we're able to continue animating like this part in the middle and just move that slightly above this one down here and then we should be done so you can close rig edit and go to moon animator select your rig do a new rig animation and then you can see lower rig works we're able to move the lower torso we're able to do whatever we want with this animation so i'll just make a quick animation real quick I just made this animation in like 3 minutes, but this is what it looks like. So yeah, we're able to do pretty much what you want to put past 7 rigs, but as you can see, the thing down here looks kind of ugly, so remove that. Select your rig, and click load torso. Don't delete it, but you see in the properties, just transparency. I'm going to set that all the way to 1, and boom. It looks like there's no, there's no lower torso at all. And you're still able to select it when animating, you just have to figure out where it is. So as you can see, it looks really good when you 
modified it, so it just looks like you animated it without it, so. Yeah, if you found this tutorial helpful, please like and subscribe. Anyway, bye.